Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. So I hope that you're all having a wonderful day thus far. And of course, we're going to be talking about Invest 96L. So that disturbance is likely going to be a problem for portions of the Caribbean. And we'll be looking at what the models are expecting and overall uh, how strong the system could potentially be. And so before I go into details... Okay, and we're starting off with a view of the North Atlantic and we're seeing here that there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity that is noted across sections of the Western Atlantic, uh, in the vicinity of the Bahamas, the Western Caribbean, and even into portions of the Gulf of Mexico. And then looking to the east of the Lesser Antilles, there we have Invest 96L. So that disturbance is... Uh, expected to generally make its way towards the west and then uh, going further out into the Atlantic off the coast of Africa there we have a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity out there as well but let's get on with 96L so here is a closer view of the system and we're not seeing it being a very organized system it's trying to get itself together and this could potentially become a tropical depression during the next couple of days and that is why areas of the northwest of the northeastern Caribbean should be monitoring the progress of this so we're seeing that on the five-day outlook it is given a 50 percent chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone and uh, maybe by the time we're seeing this by the 8 a.m update the chance is going to increase maybe to 60 percent but as it is now it is 50 percent so the system should be making its way continually towards the west and the leeward islands the virgin islands and puerto rico should keep an eye on this over the next several days so i, I would say that regardless Regardless of its status, it is going to be making its way into the area and it is likely to be uh, to possess quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity. And even if it isn't a tropical cyclone, it could still result in a lot of heavy rainfall, which could then lead to flash flooding in some areas. So I would say that uh, regardless of this becoming a tropical cyclone or not, persons are supposed to be taking the necessary precautions because uh, when it comes onto these systems and all the rainfall associated with them, sometimes they support surprises and uh in any tropical cyclone or any storm affecting anywhere the main problem is always with the rainfall and to more of an extent i would say even portions of hispaniola and maybe other regions such as the turks and caicos islands could be impacted by this but uh, only time will tell what's going to be happening because there can be a lot of changes between now and the end of the week but a general westward motion is expected of 96 l and then in terms of what conditions are like out there let's take a look at it and see how much the system could intensify and then after that we're going to be looking at the various model runs and what they are showing so starting out with ocean temperatures so the sea surface temperatures are definitely conducive within the area but i would say that the main issue for it when it makes its way uh if it makes its way into the Caribbean would probably be the land interaction, especially with Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. That would really inhibit uh, a lot of intensification. So if it is going to be in close proximity to land, then it is not likely that we're going to be seeing a whole lot happening while it is in the area. But regardless, it is likely to bring some dangerous impacts to uh islands of the northeastern caribbean so ocean temperatures are definitely favorable definitely conducive to enable this thing here to develop and intensify looking at the dry air now so uh, we have all the saharan dust out there but we have a decrease in all that dry air within the vicinity of 96 l uh, note that there isn't a whole lot that is noted yes there is some lingering ahead of it but it is kind of clearing out of the cyclone uh, but regardless it might still ingest a bit of it and that would help to limit intensification so dry air is something that tropical cyclones or developing tropical cyclones hate they need warm moist conditions and then another factor that influences intensification and development is the wind shear so if we have unfavorable wind shear out there which is indicated by the reds then we won't see a whole lot happen with the system so the yellow means neutral shear and the green means favorable so in the vicinity of 96 l we see that we have some unfavorable shear within the area and so because of that uh, conditions are 
are considered to only be marginally conducive to enable this thing to develop and intensify. But nevertheless, we could be seeing a tropical depression come from this. And if it makes its way into more conducive conditions in the Western Atlantic, then we could be looking at a future tropical storm Fiona. So let's go ahead and now take a look at what the various models are expecting. And we're going to be starting out with Euro. So this is a map showing humidity, the teals being a more moist environment. That is what tropical cyclones want. And the browns indicate that we have drier conditions. So this is Friday the 16th of September and we're seeing that we have that low pressure area that is approaching the Lesser Antilles. So we see some dry air within the region and we're not seeing a whole lot of moisture. However, as we move towards Sunday the 18th of September, we see that all that activity is making its way into portions of the northeastern Caribbean. Not seeing anything being organized out there, but look in the main development region. There we have another wave that is making its way towards the west. And I think that this is really important because this is the time of year to expect systems uh, making their way off Africa and possibly moving westward, headed towards the Caribbean or the US. And so as we head to Monday, the 19th of September, Euro is expecting that that's going to be the time when uh, 96L starts to get itself together. There we see a minimum pressure of 1,003 millibars. And the lower the pressure is, the stronger the system. And as for that wave, there we have it continuing towards the west as though it, as though it wants to enter the Caribbean. And that's exactly what euro shows it doing so euro is expecting that we're going to be having 96 uh, most likely tropical storm at that time making a curve up to the north and maybe going to be making a uh, making a general track towards the northeast meanwhile that other tropical wave entering the caribbean but we see some dry air ahead of it so this is very interesting here what euro is expecting uh for next week and then it looks as though there's another wave about to emerge off africa right there so as i said only time will tell and there can be a lot of changes so we just have to wait and see because something as far out as over a week from now is bound to have changes with it and then let's go ahead and head to icon so icon is expecting that by friday of this week the 16th of september we will definitely be seeing 96 l approaching the lesser antilles we see a 10 10 millibar low pressure area right there uh, likely associated with a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity but as we head to sunday the 18th here we have icon expecting that we're going to be having some intensification of the system so it is showing that this system is going to be lingering in the northeastern caribbean sea but uh really trying to get itself together within that area so maybe some more showers and thunderstorms developing within the area but of course only time will tell and then we start to see maybe a little bit of a northward track with the system here headed to monday the 19th of september other models are expecting that this is going to be developing such as the navgem model navgem is showing that we're going to be having uh a 1005 millibar low pressure system we see those isobars kind of coming close together and that is also a sign of a strong system so by saturday the 17th uh Navgem is showing that this is going to be making its way over into the Leeward Islands and then intensifying north of Puerto Rico. We see a pressure of 981 millibars. Uh, that's a potent hurricane right there. So as I said, only time will tell. And I think that there are quite a bit of possibilities that are on the table at this time. So nothing that you're seeing is guaranteed to happen, guys, because as I said, there can be a lot of changes. Changes are kind of inevitable when we're talking about uh, weather here. So that is why anything that you're seeing now for the future isn't completely guaranteed to happen. But of course, as I said, islands of the Northeastern Caribbean, the Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico should definitely be keeping an eye on this system here because it is likely to bring impacts to those areas. And so guys, of course, as time goes by, I'm going to be keeping you updated once it is necessary and please take the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks and so that's really it for this updated video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be with the wise